Hello everyone and welcome back to another Genesis Hero Preview. I'm Wake Up Jupiter and today we're going to go into Jones. Um, so if you guys are just now tuning in, so far we've covered all of the archers and William uh, as a support. Uh, so we're going to go through all the rest of the supports for this next, uh, I guess, week and a couple days. Um, so let's go ahead and hop into Jones. Uh, so this is going to be his... I guess classic skin here, and this is his uh, other skin. He's got like half of a. <laughs> He's got like half of a uh, sunglass lens on there. So uh, yeah, this is Jones. Um, says he's also a tank uh, as well as a support. So we're not going to be covering him in the tank roles uh, since we're already covering him as support. So. Um, and I will talk about both support playstyles and, and just regular tank playstyles, because they sometimes overlap. So, um, it says here a, uh, rapish, rap, rapacious pi space pirate. Oh my goodness, Could, couldn't even read, dude. Uh, Jones is the Kraken of his industry. None escapes his ever-reaching tentacles. Yeah, I'm gonna this it's going to be a lot of jokes around this guy I'm, I'm foreseeing in the future. Uh, so his background is in the, the region surrounding the ocean planet of Orca. The notorious space pirate Captain Jones is known by all. Devious and ruthless, Jones is the pirate king of Orca. He threatens Orca with his tyranny and plots for power. When Kronos summon reached Orca, uh, Jones smiled a cold and dangerous smile with this his next target located, all those who defy him will be ensnared by his ever-reaching tentacles. Of this, he, he is absolutely certain. So, he's got a lot of tentacles, and uh, they're um, ever-reaching. There's a lot of uh, ever-reaching going on with, with his backstory and everything. So, so that's Jones. Uh, he's this space pirate captain uh, king, and uh, he kind of reminds me of, uh, if you guys saw, uh, Treasure Planet. He kind of reminds me of that guy a little bit. Um, so, we're going to go ahead and get into his abilities here. His first ability is Mechanical Harpoon. Straight off the bat, energy costs are what I would have expected. Um, not too low, but, you know, the perfect amount of uh, high, I guess. And then cooldown is 10 seconds. Uh... I probably would rather see a cooldown per level here by, not one second maybe, by by like 0.5 seconds. So it gets down to, uh, after five levels, it gets down to around uh, eight or seven. Um, just because 10 seconds late game is kind of long, but it also depends on how far reaching this is, because apparently it's ever reaching, so. Uh, mechanical Harpoon. Captain Jones fires a mechanical harpoon in the target direction that drags the first unit it touches. If the harpoon catches an enemy unit, it instantly deals damage. So, interesting. Um, mechanical harpoon uh, is kind of just, it says it drags back. So, he tosses out his harpoon and pulls it back. Uh, this is essentially a hook. So, very, very cool. I, I would have expected him to have a hook because he's literally got a hook right here. I mean, it's, it's not a hook. That is a, that is 100% an anchor, but it's also a hook, so. <laughs> So there's that. Um, so cool, there's a hook character, and his name is Jones. His uh, number two, Ensnaring Tentacles. Uh, energy cost 80, cooldown 18 seconds. Someone's two tentacles around the target, or around Captain Jones if the target is present. Tentacles randomly attack nearby enemies, targeting enemy heroes first. Enemies hit three times in a row will be ensnared. So he's got a lot of CC with these first two abilities, and a lot of AoE with this ability. Its energy cost is pretty low, and its cooldown is a decent cooldown. It's 18 seconds worth of cooldown. It's pretty high, so um, you're not going to be seeing this. I mean, you're, you're going to be seeing this spammed in lane every time it's up, but just because the energy cost is low. I don't know how long the tentacles are going to sit there for, but if it's literally just going to, if they're just going to sit there until he recasts it, that's pretty strong. He's got a lot of zoning uh, with these two abilities on top of a lot of crowd control. Uh, so you, you're probably going to see ensnaring tentacles and then mechanical harpoon into the tentacles or you know he walks up and tentacles you and you try and get away you get snared um and then you continue to try to get away he just pulls you back so uh, a 
lot of lockdown right here. Very, very strong. Very treasure. Energy cost zero, cooldown zero. Captain Jones receives extra gold for killing enemies and has a chance of digging up buried treasures. Treasures can be picked up by both friendly and enemy heroes. So, this is a very, very cool ability. I really like this. He essentially gives gold to allies. And that is really, really cool. Because if he's in solo lane, he's playing solo as a tank solo, he's going to have a lot of gold income just off of this skill. Um, on top of that, because of all his crowd control, he makes a very, very decent support. I mean, really, really, really strong support. I'm not sure if they kind of appear randomly on the map and you have to go pick them up or what, but uh, this is just a really, really interesting idea where he, like, generates uh, gold, basically, and, and just kind of drops on the ground for him or his teammates, so that's really, really interesting. Very, very cool support ability. If you're laning against this, you probably need to know that uh, if he's even with you, he's ahead of you. If he's behind you, he's even with you, and if he's way low, he's just behind you. So, the thing about, about Buried Treasure is hopefully there's a way to counteract it. I don't know um, if, like, gold is kind of buried. I, I don't know if enemies can pick them up, too. Um, yeah, yeah, right there. Friendly and enemy heroes. So, counter to this is enemies go pick it up. So there's counterplay to this. It's not just a plus one, plus one, which is broken in any card game. This is literally just a even matchup where both teams can try and get it. So that's really, really cool. Ways around his kit here. I mean, dodge his his harpoon and stay away from his tentacles. That's really it. He's, he's a zoning character. So anytime you go in to fight him in his zone, you're going to lose. So fight him away from his ensnaring tentacles fight him away uh, after he uses Mechanical Harpoon. He doesn't have these abilities anymore, um, which I'm assuming essentially as a tank and as a support, these are, these are literally just uh, secures or, or ganks or um, catches out or you know things like that where he's just there to interrupt and, and snare people and just cause damage because uh, I mean his ensnaring tentacles I assume are going to do a decent amount of damage. And then on top of all of this, his mechanical harpoon is just like i mean hooks in games are just really really strong especially in like league of legends and mobas like that um where you have full sight and you can just kind of toss it in and pull someone if this goes through walls he's going to be a very very strong character so um looking forward to him quite a lot um so we talked about uh, we talked about some things, some ways around his abilities, and we talked about um, him playing as support. I mean, Buried Treasure is going to be a great support ability, as well as the Snare Tentacles. You're going to keep your ADC alive, um, and then if your ADC needs help getting a kill, bam, again, the Harpoon, pull him back in, and then let them get the kill, the uh, last hit. So his uh, last ability here is Kraken. Uh, ability costs? It's what I would expect from an ultimate. And his cooldowns are what I would expect from an ultimate, so everything's good here. That's pretty immense droppage and the uh, cooldown rate by 10 seconds, uh, but I mean it is an ultimate, so that's pretty good. Uh, Captain Jones slows and marks a target. After 2 seconds, a massive enraged Kraken throws the target into the air and deals damage to my units. The Kraken assists Captain Jones in battle for a few seconds, so that's really, really cool. He's, he's kind of got two abilities here where... Kraken comes out and like grabs people and ensnares them, and then over here he knocks them up. So really, really interesting. Um, honestly, he's got so much control in his kit that uh, not having a third ability is completely fine. I mean, jeez, Louise, this guy is is going to show up in lane, zone the enemy ADC support because if the support steps up he's now in the kraken zone uh i don't know if you're going to be able to attack the tentacles and destroy them but if you can that would be a counterplay to his his zoning um and kraken just kind of seems like hey this is an ultimate you can't really do anything it's basically just a knock up um and then after the knock up 
he is now assisted by a kraken. So, so um, that's pretty much Jones as an, in a nutshell for you guys. He's he's going to be a really great support. He's going to be very aggressive in trying to set up those um, you know, those areas where where he's going to benefit from using his tentacles. And uh, if anyone pushes up into that area, he's going to be able to lock them down, keep them locked down until they're dead. And then just you know, go on to the next person. He's going to be really strong in team fights. Um, his his presence is going to be massive. I mean, he's including him being a tank. He's he's going to not just stand there and, and, and take damage. He's also going to stop people from entering the area. He's going to keep um, damage going off during the team fight using his tentacles and and tossing out the uh, stuns and everything using his uh, anchor and uh, just really being a, a very very strong force to deal with. Um, so it's going to be really interesting to see him play uh, once Genesis comes out. Um, and, uh, you know, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I hope to see you guys in the next one. I'll see you later. Bye.